Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the show, and I so apologize for taking so long to get back to these 1K Wallet Challenge videos. I do expect to do them a little bit more frequently, hopefully bi-weekly at minimum, or at, yeah, minimum, uh, maybe even once a week at times if it makes sense. Uh, and this one I've been excited to come out with, uh, and I've re-recorded a few times, including even a couple of times today, because of a few different things that we'll go into, um, because uh, we've added a new a new. Uh, table leg. So we're now up to technically five. I get that you probably, if you've watched this before, already know that one of my legs is PGV and obviously that's a little bit rocky. Uh, we'll go through a couple of things that are that are going on with uh, the table that I have so far and how we're going to uh, go through that. Uh, but as it sits right now, we've got um, iBots now being added. Uh, the other thing I want to quickly let you know about before we get into the video is um, we're also going to talk a little bit about uh, doing some blockchain stuff, so little tips and tricks that I try and put into this. I'm going to go into the blockchain. I'm going to show you how I filled in some of the spreadsheet because uh, if you look here, I've added some things in and I've changed it. So instead of them averaging out when I do a withdrawal, I want the withdrawal to show on the day that I, on the week that I do it. Um, and so I've got all these different ones and I had to fill these all in manually because I had done it differently before. Um, so I went into the blockchain, found out exactly when I did them, how much I did them for, and put them into their corresponding weeks, um, which is great. Um, so we'll go through how I did that a little bit. Also, before we get too far into it, I do need to get some branding up here and stuff, but uh, obviously please do uh, hit that like and subscribe down below. Uh, the other thing as well is below this in the description, there is a link to my Discord, uh, which I'm sharing with uh, Paul Dutton. Do uh, please come on in, uh, come say hi. Uh, we're building a really great community there. Uh, conversations are still slow to start yet, uh, but looking forward to getting a lot more people in there and having some great discussions on protocols that we all wanna get into, that we're excited about, ones that we're concerned about to help the community make uh, great decisions and help grow their bags as well. Uh, so please join me for that and come on over and we'll hopefully do some giveaways and, and do some other things. So, so I do appreciate you guys coming on in and enjoying that space with us. So iBots, brand new leg. So that's exciting. Like I said, we do have a couple of negative things or, or, or things we need to talk about, but really excited to add these guys in there. These are not a moonshot protocol. I am on the team, full transparency. Uh, but the really great thing about these guys uh, and about what we're doing is it's um, kind of slow and steady wins the race. We These are not, these are going to be between 5 and 15% returns is what we're aiming for. Uh, April, we did only do, uh, I think, just a little over 4%. Uh, but technically, uh, March before that, we did uh, over 12 and then um, there are some reasons why we're, we should expect a better month this month because uh, we've kind of adjusted the bot strategies and, and the risk tolerance uh, to hopefully get us a little bit more uh, returns than the 4% we got this month. Um, definitely do some more research on this one. I have some videos. I'm going to stick one of them right up uh, there for you, right up there. Um, so have a look at that one if you'd like a little intro to the whole protocol. Come into the Discord, uh, which we'll link down below as well, uh, and come and see what it's all about. We've got a great uh, community starting up there as well. Uh, we've hit a TVL of 200,000, uh, but definitely would like to move that forward in a positive way. I think this is a great protocol uh, for any table in that it's very uh, safe uh, and, uh, I mean, Forex trading, nothing's safe, uh, but we're not looking at these crazy returns, so we're trying to make it very sustainable and be here for a long time uh, and not a short time. So I'm going to do uh, a couple of things here. Deposits are pretty easy now. They've actually changed it. I can't show you it because my I'm on the old system. Them. But basically, if you get on the protocol now, you'll be able to just connect your wallet and send money through your wallet nice and easy right through the DAP. Um, you do need a login for this one uh, because there's some data all in here. Pardon me, guys. And um, right in here is your withdrawal, which has to be minimum $11. We'll probably wait a little bit because it is $5 when it's under uh, $499. So we're going to build up a little bit before we pull out of this. So this will take a little longer before we're going to see profits from it. Um, but same thing, we'll we'll try an ROI first and get some new table legs first before we start um, compounding some of this stuff or getting our ROI back and that kind of thing. Um, compounds uh, later on you'll be able to do that and the really neat thing to this one and one thing that I want to point out is the Visa debit card so this is a neat way to off-ramp yourself so if you are um, I can see this being a really great bank account for someone because obviously it's earning quite a bit more than a regular bank account and then you can take your earnings put it on the Visa card and then go and spend it at a store so and because it's not KYC at all you really need is your phone number so that you can use your Apple Pay or your um, Google Pay and then you can go out and take care of it so it's quite quite neat in that sense and gives us some great flexibility 
So I think it's a really big differentiator for this one because uh, we don't really see that anywhere out there. We've had pro girls that have talked about doing that, but never really got there. So I don't want to spend too, too much time about this. Like I said, go off to the videos, do some research, come into the Discord. I do think this can be a great table leg for anyone. Um, other than that, uh, let's jump over to Wolf Capital. This has been kind of our, obviously our strongest leg in the sense of production, uh, but the riskier one in the sense that it's cake, it's bringing in some some really nice returns. Uh, and so we have almost ROI on it. As you'll see, I did a little gap here. This was my bad. We're never as good at taking care of our own stuff as we are as telling people how to take care of theirs. Uh, but this little gap here, you can see, I, I definitely missed a return on here. I should have had um, another another withdrawal, basically, uh, in that I went past the 10 days and it didn't accumulate rewards after the 10 days. So my bad. So we haven't ROI'd yet, but we're getting there. And um, so we did our claim today. And we're almost ROI basically. So the next uh, two weeks or whatever, we'll ROI on this one, uh, which is gonna be great. So this is the one that's kind of holding us up. It's definitely creating our legs, because um, as you can see, and this is the one thing I wanna get into. Uh, for instance, if we do equals sum, oops, and we total up these guys here, as you can see, 204 is how much we're uh, accumulating just with this one protocol for our next leg. So a large percentage of everything is coming in from this one leg, which is not really what you want. You want to be more diversified with your funds coming in from multiple legs. Uh, and so that's a little bit of a weakness in how we picked our projects. Um, so, and I, good and bad, I want this to be a learning opportunity for you, right? Somebody else may have said, oh, why did you pick this product project? If you had to pick this one, you would have been better off. Uh, and there's definitely that kind of learning opportunity in this kind of situation, right? So, um, what we want to do over time is kind of create that uh, some more stability and some more opportunities uh, for the other projects to help be strong legs for us. Uh, and there's definitely some things that some of these can help with over time, hopefully, and uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. So <clears throat> going on to uh, Stable Invest. So we definitely have some more funds coming in from here that I haven't pulled out yet. We're at a little bit of a hiccup. Uh, I have been talking to the founder of this one and they've been really transparent. They have hit a little bit of an issue and they had a little bit of a downturn on their bots. I'm gonna keep reaching out to him at some point uh, if he kind of comes back from this. Uh, we will look at doing some more marketing for him uh, and some videos for him. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, because he does need a little bit more money in his TVL in order to um, basically fight against against losses. Uh, if you have a TVL of let's say 30,000, it's really hard if you DCA into a certain strategy, you run out of funds if it takes too long for you to come back and earn money. If you have $100,000, you can keep adding more and more money to the trade to help make that trade more profitable uh, when it does make its turn back upwards or downwards, depending on whether you're doing a long or a short. <clears throat> I won't get into too much details about that, but basically they've hit a little bit of a snag. Um, so withdrawals, I believe, are paused. Um, I will be keeping in touch with them and trying to figure out a solution. And then if they do get back on their feet, we'll look at doing a video helping maybe get his TVL up and um, and let him kind of succeed and, and keep growing his protocol. Uh, because <clears throat> he has been good. The plans have changed a little bit, uh, and there is uh, okay. So as he said, we've they've kind of paused everything right now. So the plans are not earning. I think they were earning three percent before. I'm now earning um, two point five. I think. Uh, yeah, two point five, and I had to do it for four months instead of three percent for one month. Um, so I'm in a little bit of a longer a longer gig here with him, uh, which I think is why he's trying to kind of get those bots back. Uh, and and figure that out. So because the investments have kind of gone down a little bit, um, I do think he's going to pull pull the investors out of this. Whether it means pulling money out from his own pocket or whatever, but there definitely is a little bit of a lull here right now. Uh, moving on to Fathom. Um, so with Fathom, uh, there's also been a little bit of a transition here. Um, so as you can see, a little bit of a theme for a couple of the projects, but. Uh, but they are on their way back. We are earning money again on here. I have pulled some funds out, as you'll see here. $34 here, so $40 out of this one, um, which has obviously helped us build those legs and stuff. So we're just waiting uh, to see some more here. And as I said, we've started earning again uh, here. And uh, so I, I'm still excited to see what they're going to do. Um, they have started a referral system as well. So a couple little changes. He is working on a bunch of different bots and stuff to create some more revenue in order to start increasing those payouts. Uh, but he's trying to do it very sustainably. So again, 
I'm behind the team. We know that the founders, everybody's doxxed. I think they're gonna they're gonna pull this off, but it's gonna take them a little bit of time. Uh, and unfortunately, that does slow their progression of getting new capital brought in and that kind of stuff. So we'll see how that all goes. So going off to our uh, spreadsheet now, as I said, I wanted to show you how I filled this stuff in. Um, and basically to do that, using your wallet, you're gonna click on this guy here to copy this wallet address to your clipboard. And then you're gonna find the, the tokens that you've worked with or the coins. So in this case, USDC is one that um, both Wolf Capital uses and I think, uh, well, technically Prosperity Gem Ventures once they hopefully give refunds. I'm not holding my breath. Uh, there's really not too much else to say about that one right now. So you click View Asset in Explorer. And once you do that, you're gonna see here, you're basically looking at USDC, so you can see tons of transactions, uh, like 37 million transactions. Obviously we need to get this a lot smaller. So you're gonna hit this little magnifying glass here and you're gonna paste in that address that we just grabbed, which is my wallet address. And then you can see here, so 2781, this was a pullout. If you click on here, you can actually see it right here. And so I pulled out $27.79 uh, or 2781 of the USDC. I guess the value is this, 2779. And so I put the 2781, which is that token, just because, yeah, anyways. So 2781 there, and if you go back over here and go back again, you can see the 2927, which again, 2927, and then 45 is the next one, which is right below it. And you can see all these different claims here. So it's nice to see what you're doing. The swap, this is when I moved the 211 over to uh, USDT in order to do the iBots deposit, um, and then so on and so forth. And basically you can see all these claims in here, in these claims. These transfers here, this is actually uh, 1522. The hot wallet, because it's Binance, this is actually coming from Stable Invest. So what you'll see here is a Stable Invest uh, right there, 1522. Uh, and then the other one of uh, 30, uh, transfer, transfer, the 23, 20, the 255. So there you go. So that shows both of those. And then we've got our wallet address saved here again. And what we'll do is go back into here and take a peek at our, uh, was it USDC? Let's go to USDT. I think it might've been this one. View asset in Explorer. And same thing, you're gonna need to click this little button and find it and there we go so there's our 4022 eight days oh sorry did i search yes i did 4022 was that oh that was probably the money we moved over yeah sorry that would have been that's a transfer in and there's a transfer in and there's our 250 going out to ibots sorry and then um i guess that's all i did with this there was some stuff I did before I started this challenge that I was trying to start it a couple times and never got to it. Um, so it must be BUSD is the other one then. Um, so if we go in here, apologize for the runaround, what am I doing? BUSD. And then again, do a search here. And there you go. So this is the um, swap out, swap exact token. Let's just double check. I just want to see how much did I get out of 3470? There it is. So right here is our, so the way Fathom works is a bunch of ways the money all moves around, but then your end result is you get uh, BUST back. So this shows you the kind of breakdown of where the funds all go and all that kind of jazz, um, which is kind of neat. It's just the protocol is a little more complicated. So some of the fees and stuff goes to different places uh, and that's where that all goes. And then some of it gets reinvested and when you stake it and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's about it. So I apologize, a little, little digression there, but I thought it was good to you see that information and how that works. Uh, the other thing we'll do here is this is the week that I added the 250 to this one. Um, so we haven't earned anything there, but that does mean I need to take that 250 out of the wallet. So I'm just gonna edit this to be 567. And now we've got 3348 in the wallet to invest in our next leg once we build that up. And as you can see right now, the big thing is, is it's going to be Wolf Capital kind of holding this up. Um, at some point, hopefully we get a refund from um, Prosperity Gems, but I'm not holding my breath. And then hopefully Stable Invest starts um, paying out again and uh, kind of gets back on its feet. We will see. Uh, and then from there, we can hopefully keep earning and keep our, our legs strong. Uh, if, uh, for example, if Prosperity Gems does 
officially rug. Uh, I'll just say it like that. Uh, then we'll obviously have to build that leg up again. We'll be back to four. Um, so that's okay. That might happen. Uh, and if that does, we'll keep, uh, unfortunately, relying a little bit on Wolf Capital for a little longer until we get that 250 built up again. And then we'll get that fifth leg again and start going at it again. And hopefully we won't have too much of a delay. Um, but stuff happens and we have to be prepared for that. We are going to hit roadblocks uh, that will slow us down. But as time goes on, that slowing down will be much easier, uh, much shorter of a slowdown uh, because if we had eight legs right now if one leg went away it'd be pretty easy to get that 250 back with those other seven projects right so uh, so I do appreciate you coming along for this ride again uh, if you have any suggestions on what we can do to uh, make this video a little bit more engaging a little bit better for you uh, if you have some ideas on what other legs I should do I I'm obviously open to those suggestions if you want to put them in the comments below um, and uh, and we do have to do some giveaways so what I will do is I will do that on the next video I have to do a giveaway for the last uh, video and and then I'll do one for this one but I'll probably do this one in my discord so the best bet to get into those ones is to get into the discord uh, start engaging and at some point we will do up uh, some some giveaways on there uh, based on uh, the videos and the referral fees or anything that I get off of this project so thank you very very much guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your evening and uh, we'll see you tomorrow actually where I'm going to have a AMA with Danny from uh, from uh, Foxify, so or MDB technically, but we're going to be doing it on Foxify. So looking forward to that uh, with him. And uh, thanks so much for hanging out.